the first team to get the kinetic sun to work wins. Hello, and welcome to the Big American Euro Quiz of the Year. I'm Ben Smith. I'm joined by Mike McComb. Hey, Mike. Hello. And we invite some other podcasts over to visit. From 12 Points from America, we have No One Ever Asks Euro How. Hello, Eric and Danny. Hello. Hi. From Star Spangled Eurovision, yeah. we have the least serene Republic of Stan Marino. Hello, Max and Alex. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for having us. And finally, also from 12 Points from America, it's the Bulgarian Postcard Invaders. Hello, Sam and Derek. Hello, everyone. Hey. How's it going? Thank you all for joining us as we close out 2022 with some Eurovision nonsense, our favorite kind of nonsense over here. For our listeners at home, here's how this quiz is going to work. We have four rounds of Eurovision trivia written by us and friends of the show, Chris King and Alex McMillan. Each round has a total of 12 questions, and we'll be playing round robin style, so each team has an equal chance to really get annoyed with our antics. Since each round has its own quirks, we'll explain each game as we go. Uh, So are there any questions before we get started? What if I accidentally conflate all of the stupid things from this year's Eurovision? for like the last five years. Well, (laughs) that might actually help you with some of the games that we've devised. Madonna performed this year, right? (laughs) (laughs) Buckle up, everyone. It's going to get real weird. Ben, you wrote this first round, so how about you take it from here? Okay, cool. Up first, we have Breaking the Iceberg. As a way to warm everybody up and to kick this off in sort of proper big fat quiz style, it's time for some current events. So here are some questions to check your knowledge of the depths of the Eurovision 2022 iceberg. Each question is worth 10 points. (laughs) Is everybody ready to break the iceberg? Yeah, sure. Yeah. (laughs) Rip that band-aid off. Let's do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Euro How. Which nation's audition process featured one performer singing their song while reading its lyrics off their phone? Oh, my God. It just sounds like me doing one of our YouTube specials. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lyrical Reads moment. Reads lyrics off their phone. Like, this sounds this so country. familiar. This is this was definitely something that, like, I, I don't remember Sam this was at yucking all. about. I don't know. What nation? All right. What nation has an absolutely wild audition process? Oh, uh, gosh. Like, um, <laughs> Moldova does or Romania. I know. Or... This isn't going to be oh. Norway. This isn't going to be one of the right. respectable no, countries. No, what what I, if we went with Moldova? Let's. All right. Yeah. We'll. We'll. We're going to say Moldova. Moldova is an excellent answer. Uh, that was Viola Julia's before Twin Fire. Just as part of that weird marathon process, was actively scrolling through the lyrics on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I thought you were going to be like, well, that's an excellent answer. It's wrong, uh, but, but it's, it's Lithuania. A, so. It's a great answer. <laughs> it's both a great answer and a correct answer. Oh, Yay. look at that. All right, good. All right, <laughs> Stan Marino. What two previous Eurovision acts were rumored to have been under DJ Astronaut spacesuit helmet? Oh, oh okay. So one was definitely... Um, what was the Norwegian guy's name with the angel wings? Why, why am I forgetting that? Oh, uh, oh, Nick, 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 yeah. uh, 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 Tix. Tix, okay. One was Tix, and the other was... Oh, gosh. Wasn't was another Norwegian, and obviously, um, wasn't no. For a moment, think it was uh, way back. Did they? I thought. Cause they they okay. were like, yeah, because they were like, oh yeah, he's like always there. She's like a. Um, okay, so I want to say back and ticks. Yeah, ticks and and Reback. Ticks and Reback are correct. Well done. Oh, nice. All right. Nice. <laughs> Reebok was, was rumored. I didn't catch that one. The iceberg did, and that's what counts. Postcard invaders. Zuta lores. There were no French entries this year. What language were Alban and Ahez performing Fulen in? Oh, that was uh, Breton, right, Derek? Breton, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's Breton. Second time we've had it at Eurovision. Correct. Show off. Well. We get extra credit for that, too? There is no extra credit. You just yeah. get what? the, the, the no, pleasure just of being your... right. Isn't Use your enough? extra time to talk about how this was just absolutely trashed at the main competition. No, no reason. Justice for friends. You're yeah, never going to stop defending them. Euro how. She was what she was, but what was the title of the song with which Emma Muscat won the opportunity to represent Malta? Oh, that's right. 
Oh, it's bad. It's because uh, she would have him. right, but like she, she she won the national final with some other song, and then all of a sudden yeah. it was this song instead, and I don't remember. Yeah, why, I have no clue why. Uh, it oh, could this also be Moldova? <laughs> <laughs> um, when in doubt, yeah, whatever uh, it was, she was reading it off her phone. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's Halo, but the good version. Uh, Halo. I don't. Gosh, I I have no even clue. Eric, make yeah. something up. What do we got here? Oh, you don't want me to do that. Uh, it's Lacroix Beach Plum. Yeah, that, uh, well, that'll be our answer. We're, we're still Beach. gunning for that sick, sick Lacroix sponsorship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the Lacroix Beach Plum is our final yeah. answer. A, a delicious seltzer, but unfortunately not Malta's entry that was out of sight. <laughs> out of sight. Did, I, which doesn't even which, ring a bell. Which a correct name for the song that disappeared the second it got announced. I know. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, it no was way, no. out of sight. Stan Marino. Despite a petition, which nation's final said no to letting the band Electric Cowboy pump it on their stage as a potential entry for Turin? Germany. Germany's so correct. We're not even going to discuss it. Well, because it was a, they had a different name, and at the time it was problematic, and I'm not going to say it out loud. But it out loud? I mean, Oh, was it just Duran Duran? They were known <laughs> as Eskimo Cowboy at the time, and then everyone was like, hey, that name is super problematic. And then afterwards, they changed it to Electric Cowboy, but Germany was still like, nah. That wasn't the problem, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was on one hand, yes. On the other hand, you're like, no, we don't want to send a good entry this year. Postcards. Which two nations raced to see who could release the first Eurovision song as an NFT? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is that in I... response to the question or to the oh. NFT concept? Both, both. <laughs> honestly, I, uh, this. This lid was one of them, weren't they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He was getting that's... a lot of grief for that. Yeah. No, you're right. I that I that rings a bell. Uh, all right. So oh, I think I remember maybe it was a it was a female artist, but that doesn't really narrow it down too too much. Was fifty percent is enough? Was it? It wasn't Cyprus, was it? I can't remember. I only heard about Switzerland. I I didn't hear about anyone else. No, I. Something in the back of my head is saying Cyprus, but I really have no no guts on it. But no, you're you're definitely right about Switzerland, though. So so what's another country that would the go tr- NFT? Try to cash in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, try to think there. of which country's economy tanked this year because they invested all their Eurovision bucks in NFTs. Do you just want to go with Switzerland and Cyprus and hope for at least one point on this? Uh, so, I mean, Cyprus seems like a reasonable guess. All right, let's let's just do it. Switzerland is correct. But the other nation in the race to the bottom was Australia. Oh, and, yeah. oh my and I'm God. not sure that either of those projects actually got off the ground because I'm pretty sure we all just screamed at them the second they said the words NFT. Yeah. I thought it was uh, Armenia because Rosalind also was like, hey, have you guys heard of NFTs? And everyone's like, <laughs> yes, no. And everybody was like, no, we haven't, Rosalind, and neither have you. Rosalind. I will say, though, uh, Kalush Orchestra did eventually release an NFT in conjunction with auctioning off their trophy. That one raised over $900,000 to support Ukraine's defense efforts instead of just being a dumb picture that, that is somehow worth yeah. $15 million. A non fungible trophy. Uh, Euro how it's your turn for a question oh, with, two, with, with the two-part answer. Name the brand and online platform that held a mildly unsuccessful Metaverse concert this year featuring Akile Lauro. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I I I am not as as uh, into this. Well, it couldn't possibly be couldn't possibly be Mark Zuckerberg's Metaverse because there's only like two people who use it. Yeah, <laughs> him and Akile Lauro. <laughs> Yeah, I would call that only mildly unsuccessful for the metaverse. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't know. Is it is it just Meta's metaverse? It couldn't be. It's Neta's metaverse. Ooh, <laughs> the metaverse. What other online platform is there? It couldn't possibly. It's. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just say Meta's metaverse. All right. Oh well, we need a brand and a platform. There, there, there Meta's are two the brand. I don't know. Ben, Ben, you're saying there are two separate answers here. Uh, yeah, I'm saying that there. Yeah, there. There's an online platform. And I will, I will even go so far as to say a luxury brand that are at play here. Luxury brand. Ah, so like Toyota. It's a luxury brand. So I don't know. Okay. Godiva chocolates uh, uh, on um, uh, the cocoa verse. All right. Uh, yeah, that will uh, we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, Off to a great start here. This was the iceberg entry marked Akile Laro Gucci Roblox concert. You're, you're kidding. kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci Roblox concert. Yep. What? The tweens what? understand that and they love the Gucci brand. 
they love Alessandro Michelle and all of his quirky looks for Jared Leto. And they're like, how do I get that on my Roblox person? Wow. I'm just going to get Gucci Roblox concert just like tattooed on my chest. Okay. Like they already have that. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Stan Marino. It was Laura Vision at this year's contest with Laura Pazzini, Achille Lauro, and Lori from which group? Was that one of their names? Was Larry the name of one of the Danish? Lowry? I don't know. That's the first thing I thought. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, no, duh. It was, um, uh, it was, um, Finland, uh, the Rasmus. Larry something, something, Nin. But, uh, yeah, it's the Rasmus. I thought, yeah, we'll take Lowry something, something from the Rasmus. I don't have his last name down on my piece of paper, so we're good to go. <laughs> That's got know. three I, A's and five N's. Like, ben, if we can just, ben, like, oh. start a collection to buy the Finnish language a couple more consonants this year, I think it'd be a really <laughs> practical Christmas gift. <laughs> I, I, I have to protest. I think everybody knows that Lowry Markinen plays for the Utah Jazz. Postcard right. invaders. <laughs> Lithuania's The Roop expressed disappointment that Ireland's Brook agreed to perform at what venue, misunderstanding that it is also the name of a bar in Belfast. Oh, 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 is this, it, it's, it's, it's something like, it's either Kremlin or Red Square. It's, it's I'm, one of those two. I, I think it's called Kremlin, but Red Square is also like sticky. It was, it was definitely like the roof just completely misunderstanding. They just saw the headline and didn't realize that. Oh, I, was not coming side, to you? I don't have any idea. Political figure. <laughs> <laughs> you do a lot of bar hopping in Belfast, so I can't remember. I remember hearing about this and I, Red Square seems you wouldn't perform at the Kremlin, would you? Like even if there no, was a misunderstanding, I mean... you'd be like saying I'm playing a concert at the Pentagon. Uh, <laughs> I I'm I'm leaning I'm leaning more towards Kremlin. Okay. All right. That is correct. She did perform at a at a bar called Kremlin, and the group just saw Brooke performs at Kremlin and had well, I would say like an appropriate freak out if you saw that in the newspaper, but also yeah, you should, you should actually click read. through to read the article. Who names the bar the Kremlin? They serve Moscow mules. We used to have a Wait, bar in just... Cambridge called the People's Republic that explicitly had the communist theme. Yeah, same with here. We used to have hammer and sickle. Listen, people love their vodka. In DC, we have a bar called the Green Zone that is like kind of Palestinian themed and you can buy this is their famous drink is the WMD. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, you can buy the weapon of mass destruction. It's green. It's like served in the dry ice glass. It's very DC. Nobody ever asks Zero how. Question for you. Yes. Hoffi Hoff's song of a captain entry, Gia, features an entire verse instructing the listener to make what dish? I would prefer All a right. question I know the answer to, please. Song for Captain, this yeah. is Finland again, right? <laughs> yes. Where is Song for Captain? Okay. It's just an entire verse instructing the listener to make what dish? I don't know. I'd like to phone a friend. Sam? This is, but I don't know. What's a great Finnish dish, you know? What's a, uh, and I, unfortunately, I can't make my usual joke. Oh, you know who was a great Finnish dish? Who's a great Finnish dish? Aero uh, Saarinen. Uh, Tarja Hallinen. That, yeah. uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Oh boy. Uh. Great. What if it's what like if it just like Swedish meatballs? I don't know. Finnish meatballs or Ludafis. <laughs> Ludafis. Oh, could not possibly. What if it is though? What oh, if it gosh. is? It worked. It worked for Infinitely... Moldova. All right, let's go with it. Oh my god, an entire verse on Ludafis. I'd love to sure. see it. Why not? This is Eurovision. All right, Ben. Is it Ludafis? Show me Ludafisk on the board. Wait a minute, I didn't rig the board to show anything. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> oh, no. So what is it? The first place you went wrong, Song of a Captain, is the Icelandic national selection. Iceland oh, okay. Sure. Oh, crap. Sam, what is it? Did you know this, Sam? I did not. I was just oh. I was just sort of beating my head against the wall that you kept yeah, thinking okay. Song of a okay. Captain. Okay, anyways, uh, Gia did not make it out of its heat. This is why this one's way down at the end of this round. Is this just like chicken tikka masala? Like, what is No, this? the second verse is basically instructing on how you make hummus, although he does leave out tahini, which feels like a very <laughs> crucial ingredient. <laughs> Half the dish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hummus was like, what, four ingredients? Tahini's like number two. <laughs> it's like a whole, like half the dish is tahini. Yeah. Yeah. And amidst like the three minutes of that song, there's like five wardrobe changes and a recipe oh. for hummus. I mean, are you honestly expecting the guy who gave the world the wiggle wiggle song to be subtle? Stan Marino. The Polish national final featured a song entirely in what language, which has never been used as the primary language for a song at the contest? Elvish? I feel like it was Elvish. 
It was something weird like that, right? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch the Polish national final, but like that sounds like something weird. I was watching the Polish national final at the same time as like four other ones, <laughs> including San Marino. And, and all this is to do with the far right movement in Italy. So, <laughs> but I didn't know that they were also maybe it's coded across Europe. <laughs> that is a that's a deep European topic. <laughs> kind of, that's what we have you on the show for. Yep. <laughs> Uh, final answer, Elvish. So Elvish is uh, is incorrect. The group Darn. Unmute finished third in the Polish oh. national final, performing sign in language. sign language. Oh, I dear. love that song. I forgot about that. I see. Postcard Invaders, last question of this round. Name the author of this tweet, which I'll read in place on screen. <laughs> God. <laughs> we are not happy in the UK. UK flag emoji. My grandson is gay and likes the upbeat female vocal pop songs, and neither Albania, Ireland, or the goth lady from Austria have made it through. <laughs> there are too many ballads in the final, so could you please change the lineup before Saturday? Thank you. Thumbs up emoji. Oh, God. I remember this tweet. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. Really? Oh, you, you so, couldn't have given me the, the, the Polish sign language one. Ah. So if, it, if, it helps, if it helps at all, I don't think I wrote this. No, I, I think it was or, just uh, I think it was just a random woman just in the UK <laughs> tweeting, wasn't it? I've never seen this before. No, well, you don't. You're not on Twitter. No, just watch out. It's Liz Truss. <laughs> <I was gonna, laughs> is it, it going to be like somebody in politics or um, Paul Hollywood? I don't know. Oh my God. It, it, it wasn't Boris. Boris Johnson. <laughs> <sighs> he wouldn't. I don't know. Let's just think of some random British old lady name. Hello, Vera. Even Primrose, no idea. I'm um, yeah. Let's let's just name her uh, Vera Mountbatten. What about Nicola Sturgeon? I see it. <laughs> I got. I have approximately Jack on this. I've seen this tweet. I just can't think of the the originator. Let's go with Helen Mirren. Ooh, yeah. What's she up to? <laughs> Is that the final answer here? Sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, these are not the words of Dame Helen Mirren. Uh, uh, the, uh, y- your your name a random English old lady name was not a bad strategy. Mm-hmm. These are these are the words of Carol McGee. Okay, yeah. I don't I don't cool. feel bad about not knowing this. <laughs> <laughs> that ends our first round. Mike, how are the scores looking? Eurohow has ten points. Stan Marino has thirty points, and Woo! the Postcard Invaders have twenty five points. Woo! I'm all right with that. Eurohow, how has your Eurovision been this year? What were your favorite moments? It was good. Yeah, it was, it was pretty sick. I think my favorite Eurovision experience this year was a random Euro trash song coming on at the Happy Gnome. And then my friend calling it a Balkan banger and me having to adamantly describe just what a Balkan banger really is. It's not just any European song. It's not just any Eurovision song. It's got to be a Balkan, guttural, shouted, belted, female, crazy song. Can't Thank just you. be crazy. There are rules. <laughs> there are rules to a Balkan banger. Yes. This was my first time going to a Eurovision. So just being there was was the highlight, I guess. But if I had to pick one moment, it might be I asked Amanda Tenfjord what she does to keep the song fresh so she doesn't get tired of it. And she said, well, I am tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> That was right before the jury fight. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> she was great. She was great. The, mm-hmm. the other the other thing that came to mind immediately was just four hundred thirty nine points. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Like I, it, there's never going to be anything like that again, ever. Really, really something. All right. So this next round is called magnetic poetry. In this game, we have created 12 different refrigerator magnet poetry sets based on song titles. I will read a poem using words pulled from the titles of a country's catalog of Eurovision entries. Specifically, these will be 10 entries with English song titles. Your job is to name what country is the source for the magnetic poetry set. It'll be 10 points if you can give me the country off the poem alone. If you need a hint, I can give you the title of the song going the furthest back in time, but then a correct answer is five points. Euro how? You've got the first poem. Ding me, boy toy set. I made another golden time alive. There must be stars. Heart of home, way same. Dong feel free. Ah, oh, I love it when dong feel free. 
Uh, we got this, ding. This can't possibly. No, this we is. We got ding and dong in here, so I th- keep thinking ding a dong. This, that can't is, possibly. Be. This is going to yeah. be. This is Israel. It's we've got Golden oh, Boy sure. in there. We've got Toy. We've got Made of Stars. Yeah. We've got Home. We've got that great song. Their time same set. I Golden. I yes, love that one. That's right. That's yeah, right. Uh, this golden is Golden Boy. Th- oh, which I detest. But yes, yeah. it's a Boy yeah. and it's Toy Art. So it's so be there. I know, and I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is um, this is Israel. Yeah, it is Israel. Poem number two for Stan Marino. You shine the air, but love secret running. Like a halo, I am on Phoenix limits. Amen. Nobody is yours. Rise alive. Austria. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, again, really good poem. Good. <laughs> I, I'm surprised at how well some of these turned out. Well, well, I, I am not a poet, uh, but yeah, there's some pretty advanced in German. <laughs> Nobody is yours. I appreciate your attention. This is my next Eurovision entry <laughs> song. <laughs> <laughs> Postcard invaders. My taboo warrior love, walk breathlessly. All of the chameleon water is coming tomorrow. Am I home on this night? I am. This has to be Malta, right? Yep. Chameleon water, yep. absolutely. Chameleon yeah. water, yep. <laughs> All of the chameleon water yeah. is coming you, you, tomorrow. You, you, you could have technically had two chameleons in there, considering that Irolasco pulled an Emma Muscat when she got selected too. So all the chameleon, chameleon water. There is something in the water, and it is chameleons, and it is <laughs> Oh, God. So. <laughs> water, it's messing with chameleons. <laughs> Like I, I get it from Taboo because that will always be my favorite Malta entry, which it keeps getting better because Max hates it so much that <laughs> not the song anymore. I just imagine Max's face when I listen to it. I'm like, oh my god! Would you say you're breaking the taboo? Very. Small tease entry of all time. We wrote a Learned League one day on the last decade of Eurovision earlier this year, and my favorite little thing that we had to drop because it was not testing well at all. Name the two countries whose entry this is, and it was just both versions of Warrior played at the same time. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, oh, man. Totally oximated, dude. Totally oximated. <laughs> oh, and I, I spent so much time mixing that because one version just completely overpowers the other, so you had to have them at like the right level. I wonder which. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, back to Eurohow. Forget them. Hear our prejudice calling it home. Ten paper things is coming true. No choice about years. Never think unbroken. I got it. Danny, yeah. you got it? Yeah. No, I, I don't, actually. Oh. All right, well, it's, um, it's, it's calling uh, it home. What? What's going on here? You know, it's it's a shame that you only went with English titles because a, a hot right in the middle of this would have been. Uh, okay. Would have been great. It's Iceland. It is Iceland. Yes. This time we <laughs> knew what Iceland was. Stan Marino. If water is getting love tears, a sober intention was growing illusion. Old me, take beautiful DJ crime. Unlimited bones mess up love getting away. Bulgaria. <laughs> it is Bulgaria. Yes. <laughs> beautiful DJ Hiding crime. That's what, what I call it. Just one of the lyrics DJ just crime. should be just, if love was a crime. Like it yeah. just should have been just completely untouched and unseparated and just been like, I dare you to say it. Beautiful DJ crime is also what I call Darude's entry. Yeah, I was going to say anything. Yeah, there it is. Anything by Darude. Yeah. Just um, really need a book of these. Like, please publish them. <laughs> Postcard Invaders. Injected Nightline. Moon Girl is breathing here. We love your salad to go. The heartbeat bake. Eat still that funny rising cake. Oh <laughs> I'm so glad you couldn't have given this, this one. You couldn't give this to a better team. Yeah. This this makes me so happy. This oh god, eat still that funny rising cake. Uh, yes, this is Lafayette, isn't it? No argument. Oh yeah, this is the veritable buffet that Lafayette just keeps serving us. Yeah, I had no idea there was so much food content in their entries. This is Latvia, and this is probably my favorite poem of the set. So. <laughs> we love your salad to go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> our, our illustrated chapbook of these poems, We Love Your Salad to Go, will be available in the Eurowit store when this episode drops. Yes. <laughs> what I say every time I go to Panera. Yeah. <laughs> Euro how. My love to autumn day. Here, let me make lost circles proud. You found dance, the sky leaves you, and I stand alone. 
circles and proud. So it's got to be, you know, Your the Mac. mass and Mac. Well, I stand alone is by Godsmack. They're from I Boston. <laughs> um, you found uh, dance. Yes. Autumn leaves was so it's... nice. Come back soon, North Macedonia. Agreed. And yes, it is North Macedonia. All right, San Marino. One string's want of pleasure. The only lighthouse. The crazy talk dream. Guilty heart? Tick. My, my. Everything you are, friend, I celebrate. Jeez, this is my favorite Anne Sexton poem, by the way. Lighthouse, tick tock, or just, I guess, tick. Yeah, tick tock. Um, um, crazy. Yeah. It's Croatia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It is Croatia. <laughs> All right, postcard invaders. <laughs> I am the earth waterfall. Warrior on me to keep me. Take three in as faith. You lock gold for minutes. You keep midnight going. Ah. Favorite song from Atlanta. I mean, Georgia. <laughs> Georgia is the correct answer. I am the earth waterfall. I think that might actually just be dialogue from Avatar 2, The Way of Water. <laughs> 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 okay. This will be the last set for everybody. Uh, Euro how. Through my window yesterday, the lucky play partners hope to love. Goodbye, amazing storm. In what crime is one siren? Why am I forget? Why am I forgetting who is? It's oh. it's it's the lucky one. Mm-hmm. Who's better off alone? Yeah. It's Estonia, though. Yeah, there uh, we go. Yeah. Ooh, cool, baby. Yeah. I was I was really hoping that we got this one. <laughs> I know how much I know how much you love Uku Suviste. Uh, I mean, but l- like that that sucked so much, so very very much. But <laughs> my Spotify, I still in my like songs have "Good Body Yesterday." It's that's an excellent excellent song, one of the best of ten years. Fan- fantastic. Oh yeah. yeah, Estonia. Yes, it is Estonia. On to Stan Marino. What's the matter, city mother? You love a place <laughs> of rhythm. Lights up, time wrong. The pressure kills me inside. Wake, miss. Release. <laughs> Evanescence. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> Wake, miss, release. Is- uh, <laughs> also, honestly, the pressure kills me inside is a feeling. That's a big mood. Yeah. What's the matter, city mother? Just an Oasis album. <laughs> <laughs> Also, time wrong is how I feel every morning. Belgium. 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 Sorry. <laughs> it is Belgium. Yes. <laughs> All right. Last poem. And this goes to the postcard invaders. Do you love to shine for me? The unbreakable got kind. Apollo of stones, of boys. A time while she, our last hunter, cry in stars and me. That's so Yeah, it's got to be the Apollo of stones, of boys. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo of boys is kind of redundant. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> I think I said this up top, but this is not good poetry. <laughs> but it is, <laughs> but it is great poetry. Great poetry. I do <laughs> love it. Apollo of stones of boys. <laughs> Hang this up in your low soap cafe. Maybe nobody will notice. We should do a, a lyrical moment with Danny with I these poems. A couple of these. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Try and me. <laughs> <laughs> don't only uh, cry in stars also cry in me <laughs> oh this is a delight and, uh, and i and i had actually forgotten for a moment about the the unforgettable line and unbreakable that it took them months to actually get right it's swim against the strim which i i still <laughs> <laughs> I love how I, I love how in the actual semifinal he delivered the line correctly, but he delivered it down the camera with such intensity and this sort of "fuck you, I got it right this time." <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments from 2012. Oh, that is awesome! Checking in on the scores, y'all did great on that round. Everybody got every question right. So yeah. the updated Ooh. scores: Eurohow has 50 points. Stan Marino is in the lead with 70. And the postcard invaders have 65 points. Coming for you. Stan Marino, how was your Eurovision year? What were your favorite moments? Uh, It was great. Honestly, we got to go to Turin, which is cool. And I'll let Alex talk about her favorite moment. I think one of my favorite moments was we were at the Euro Club and they turned 1944 into 
they tried to turn it into a banger and I kind of froze in place and looked over at Bart and Max and the three of us had just stopped dancing, took a long sip of our drink. I was like, I can't rave to the song. <laughs> it feels wrong. And then we looked around and everyone kind of had the same vibe. <laughs> <laughs> This is not okay. I have a video somewhere, but I'll have to pass that to you later at some point because it is truly incredible. 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 No, incredible. Just, just, was there a literal <laughs> record scratch in that moment? It feels like that yeah, that could have happened. Yes. <laughs> I thought you guys liked this song. What? Oh, yeah. It just feels yeah. weird. It's like putting a house beat underneath like the score from the piano. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's going on? Honestly, I changed my answer to that moment. I forgot to point it out. Our next round is Eurovision First Drafts, which comes to us from friend of the show, Chris King. So in this game, we are imagining what the first drafts of recent Eurovision entries might have been if the title had been slightly different. We'll give you the year, the artist, and some information about a possible alternate version of a song. The answer will have one word changed from the title of the song that was actually performed at Eurovision. 10 points if you can give us the alternate title from just the clue. If you need a hint, we'll give you the actual Eurovision title, but then the correct answer is only worth five points. So let's begin with an example. 2017, Arts Fix Song was supposed to be about apologizing while waiting for her computer to restart. So the answer there would be bear with me instead of fly with me. I have a feeling our lead is going to evaporate. (laughs) (laughs) I have a feeling this round won't be as successful as the previous. Euro How. In 2018, Melvin's first draft was about how things are better down where it's wetter. So this is supposed to be under the ladder. So surely this is just under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll say under the sea. Under the sea is correct. How could I forget about our favorite? Where was Melvin from? uh, Ukraine. 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 From Ukraine. Yeah. Our favorite Ukrainian vampire. And I understand we have a lot to choose from because, Mm -hmm. you know, that's prime vampire country, but. Beautiful. The, the most recent Ukrainian entry in English, as uh, oh, as we, we learned, yeah. um, they've they've well, really been on a Ukrainian language jag. What was it? Oh was yeah, it I suppose. Well, one out for bang. Stan Marino, over to you. Also from 2018, Sonia Illick and Balkanika briefly considered presenting a lyrical slideshow of their vacation to the port of Halifax and the Peggy's Point Lighthouse. Okay. Um. So the song was Nova Dessa. I don't really get it. I don't, I don't know. Nova Scotia? Oh, Nova Scotia. That's a good one. Yeah, Nova Scotia. Nova uh, Scotia is correct. Well yeah. done. Yeah. I think I would have preferred Nova Scotia. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Postcard Invaders. Still in 2018. Izo recalled her first encounter with Zorro and the impression he left behind, but then went a different direction. Well, I saw was was X my heart. So would this just be Z my heart? Cross my heart. Well, yeah, but it was written as X. Yeah, it was written as X. So, I mean, Zorro leaves an impression. You know, he leaves the. I guess Z my heart, but that doesn't. Just basing on the previous answers, under the sea was a proper phrase, but Z my heart isn't really. Well, is Nova Scotia a real place? I I I get to. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I guess so. Should we just go with it? Because I can't think of any other like full on phrases that. The impression it always leaves a Z. Yeah. 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 Z my heart. Let's do it. Z my heart is correct. For the record, I don't hate Nova Scotia like Sam does. Okay. For the record, I have been to Nova Scotia twice. I've been to the Peggy's Point Lighthouse. It's lovely. (laughs) Next round of questions. We are moving forward to 2019. Euro how? Before Sebastian Raymond got involved, Darude was going to add to the soundtrack an animated tale about people turning into pigs. Oh, I made fun of this song. I don't remember what it was called. Um, Sebastian Raymond, 2019. So this, this was this was the Darude the Darude song. That was, it was called "Look Away," right? Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, oh, so 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 spirited, spirited away. But, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spirited away. Told you guys there'd be handholds. Yeah, it's weird. No, no, we. Hashtag teamwork. <laughs> that was an impressive. <laughs> yeah. Stan Marino. Kate Miller Heideke originally submitted a pastiche referencing If I Were a Rich Man in Comedy Tonight, but the producers asked for revisions. Gravity, zero gravity. So. Oh. Uh, wow. 
<laughs> Wait, originally some of the past years, definitely. It's probably zero something, right? Like, well, I mean, I try to write for him. Zero musical? So. <laughs> zero, zero money. Is that your answer? Yeah. I, is there a better one? If I were a man, followed up being poor. Zero finances? I don't know. <laughs> zero money finance. Really testing them on their musicals. Knowledge. Yes, yeah. yeah like th this one felt a little. You either know or you don't. But when Chris sent it over, it's so delightful. I'm like it, it needs to stay in. Just, just zero Mostel. Yeah, zero just zero Mostel. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie. Yeah, that was they great. Did. And <laughs> there's me holding up a fist like it's an OQL steal. I'm like, oh no, it's not <laughs> yep. that kind of game. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. okay, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Who who played Tevya in Fiddler? Who was whoever the character is in Forum? Honestly, I should have. I should have gotten that. I feel embarrassed. Oh, well, I, we knew Fiddler, but how many I knew Zero Mostel. But okay, yeah, go on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> postcard invaders. Our final question in 2019. Leonora wanted to sing a little tune about waiting in the speed dating pods, but wasn't married to the idea <laughs> in the end. <laughs> Love is forever was the song. Waiting in the speed dating pods. Speed That's dating nice. pods. Is that a reference to something? I feel like I feel like it might be referencing like one of those dating reality shows like love is blind maybe could be a thing but i don't watch any of those is that a podcast like you're watching those. those are great oh man this is where my comes in hand. love is blind might be a good answer we can't think of anything else yeah should we just go with it because i got nothing better it's the best i can think of I, i'm trying to think of others love love is circle but that doesn't work either that's not even a dating one love is love, love is island Love is land. Love is land. <laughs> yeah, so love is blind, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, love is blind. We'll give it a shot. Love is blind is correct. Man, We're going to move funny. forward to 2021. Euro how? Initially, Hooraphonic tried writing from the other character's perspective. The personal hell of a guy trying to keep it sleazy while his soulmate was going off about her forking shirt. Okay, so the wrong place. Yeah, it's the, 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 good, the good place. The good place? The bad place? It's got to be. Oh, the ooh. It's the medium place. Okay, but which one? Uh, for real, which the do they want? The personal hell of a guy. It's, it's, it, it's got to be the good place since we're just going for like the plot of the series. Okay. All right. Yeah. We will, say, we will say the good place. Yeah. The good place is correct. You're in the Man, good I forgot place. about How could I forget about Keep It Sleazy, the last line of the series? Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> that ruins everything. Now you know. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, such a good show. What You're was the name of the place. character who got the whole concept of the universe correct when he was high? And Doug. Was Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Doug. You know, it's it's the framed portrait of him like this. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want that in my apartment. <laughs> okay, cool. Stan Marino. Daffy Ogagnamadni had workshopped a melody reminding everyone not to steal, kill, or covet, but Pharaoh said no. Uh, okay. That's ten years. When you have enough steel. Oh, ten commandments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You know, if, if Daddy Fair came down a mountain holding tablets of rules, I would follow whatever he told me to do. Yes. Let's be yep. real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the beautiful flowing hair in the wind. Yes. Yeah. He's so tall. He's he really so tall. Is. He's 6'10. So this man is enormous. <laughs> He was actually on a hill, not a mountain. It just looked like <laughs> just, <laughs> it just felt like a mountain because he's just that tall. <laughs> he is the mountain. Postcard Invaders closing us out for 2021. Maniza struggled to compose a song about her birthday. She kept hitting dead ends no matter how many times she restarted. Rewrites. What a concept. Okay, so Russian woman. Song about her birthday. Ooh. What a concept. That Okay, where's that from? That Ah. Derek, talk me through what's going on in that brain of yours. I'm just cycling through different words. Is it, are we replacing Russian or are we replacing woman? Uh, I don't know. Um. Oh my God! Birthday. Uh, re restarts. Uh, so maybe Russian doll, like that. That. Oh the, yes, the... Russian doll. Yeah, yeah. The the TV. The show. show. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. With yeah, should we? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Russian doll. Russian doll is correct. Finally, That's we have cool. arrived back in the present. So these last questions are all about 2022 songs. Euro how? While at Circus Circus, Circus Mercus jotted down some thoughts about joining a Texas Holden tournament. They ultimately folded on the idea. Mm. So what was the action? It was lock oh, me oh, down. Lock, no, this this the song was called "Lock Me In." Lock so I me think, in. I so think what we have here is "Deal Me In." Deal me in. Yes. Okay. Thoughts about joining. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We will go. Deal me in. Deal me in is correct. 
everyone check out our video of uh, Sam and I were talking about Eurovision stuff in Turin and we got video bombed by the singer from Circus Mercus. He was great. Amazing. Super nice guy. I was actually staying at the same hotel as the Georgian delegation in, in Turin. So seeing them unmasked over the breakfast bar was slightly unsettling, but nice folks. Does one of them live in the U.S.? Do you know? Uh, I'm not positive. Okay, because one of them in some video was wearing a flyer shirt, and there is a massive Georgian community in Philadelphia. So hmm. I need to know. <laughs> Maybe you just visited. Stan Marino. Amanda Tenford made some changes when she grew tired of arguing about whether or not her entry would be considered a Christmas song. She did perform barefoot, though. Why am I blanking on the name of this stupid song? Oh, my God. Oh, you love this. <laughs> oh, Bart loved this. Oh, my I God. I love this song. Oh, I heard it live. I cried. Um, Why am I blanking on it? COVID song? <laughs> it was about COVID. No, it wasn't. It was not <laughs> Wasn't it? I was looking at it. Oh, it die together. Okay, die together. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, yeah it was about COVID. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not that many made some changes or she grew tired of arguing about whether. Is there like a belong together without a Christmas song? I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, was not a Christmas song. Uh, belong? Die, sign, and die? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. so I'm like, is it die or is it together? Ah, together. What's I mean, we head? belong to it together. Oh, sorry, that's not a Christmas song. I don't know. Is there a Christmas song that has die in it? <laughs> I mean, no, I think like Rudolph killed Grandma, but I don't know <laughs> to die. They didn't explicitly say so in the song. <laughs> they just broke it ahead. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> is there a together Christmas song? Yeah, oh, Jewish, I don't know. We must be together, right? What more I carry the. Now let's want the Christmas together, Christmas together, Christians together, trees together. Oh God. Wait, hold on. You're asking two Jews to define Christmas song. Um, <laughs> she did perform barefoot though. No, Isn't there some happening. Christmas song about like shoes? That's a thing. <laughs> what? A Christmas song about shoes? What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, we have to come up with something. Celebrate together? Holidays together? I don't know. Oh, what about that movie? The Holiday? No, that makes no sense. Okay, let's do Celebrate together. Sure. Celebrate together? Is that Holidays together? I don't know. Christmas together? I'll give you a hint, but like, again, no points. So what if in less of a Mariah Carey direction and more of like a Bruce Willis direction? Die hard. There it is. (laughs) You should never go in a Bruce Willis direction. I thought it was going to be a German song because I was like, die something. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. German for yeah. the together. It's Oton and Bum. Meanwhile, I'm like, well, someone dies. Is it Grandma or Santa Claus? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like that would have been more of a subwoofer direction. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mommy was kissing Santa Claus, but it was the kiss of death, and he got taken out by the mob. <laughs> no plot for us. Postcard Invaders. Run over by Subwoofer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Postcard Invaders, last question of the round. Sam Ryder's song is actually the first draft. In 25 years, LeBron James and the Tune Squad will sing the new version. <laughs> this God. must be Space Jam. <laughs> right? Yes. yes. Again, thanks to Chris King for that round. That was that great. Okay, yeah. Postcard Invaders, how was your Eurovision? What were your favorite moments? I'm still recovering from my last big one. I I was actually in Yerevan for Junior Eurovision, which was pretty crazy. And I think I'm just over my 10 hours time difference jet lag at this moment. But, Oof. but that was pretty spectacular. But I think one of my other favorite moments of this year was I was waiting behind the scenes in the opening ceremony in Turin. And at one point, half the Norwegian delegation went to use the bathroom and I was standing nearby them. And for a good, it must have been about seven or eight minutes, DJ Astronaut stood posed outside the bathrooms, completely and utterly motionless. And it was just this moment of surreal, what the hell is going on? Like he hasn't moved or she hasn't, the DJ has not moved. Are you sure it wasn't just like a mannequin with the suit on? No, I had a moment where I was thinking, is am I just being punked right now? Is this a fake human being? But yeah, they they they, they were just that that still for that long and i'm like just like a beautiful seven minutes of not having to be on 
<laughs> yeah, but like posed, like hands up in the air. I was really tempted to put my drink in the DJ's hand just to see if they would hold it. <laughs> I didn't want to waste a drink in case it actually flipped uh, through. Wearing a still suit, am I right? <laughs> okay. Derek. I was in Turin and I got to spend a lot of time in our hotel because I got COVID. And then uh, here is my proof of negative testing. Yay. It printed on the largest paper they had. <laughs> <laughs> By accident. I needed proof to go to the airport to fly home. And I accidentally like, okay. printed it like, on the Shroud of Turin. Yeah. And they were, but I, they were like, do you want us to print it again on A4? And I'm like, no, no, give me the big one. I'll, I'll use that. A A47 is, is fine by me. Yeah. I was so glad, Derek, that you were able to make it back to the press room for the final. I got to see um, the one. Which was, which was great. Another great moment. One of my favorite photographs I've ever been in was me and Derek and Sam oh like together in the same place for the first time. So we got a picture. And for some reason, I brought a photograph of Danny because he wasn't there. So it was the three of us. And then we were holding up the picture of Danny and we posted it on our socials and everyone was like, oh no, Danny died. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We had to clarify. No, no, no. Not dead. He's just in America. Yeah, he's just at home. Danny's fine. (laughs) Should have captioned it in memory. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we can still remember him. He's still alive. Yeah, Yeah, you can remember all kinds of things. Okay, Mike, how are the scores looking? Euro How has 90 points. San Marino also has 90 points. Yeah. The Postcard Invaders took the lead and they're at 105 points. Woo! On to round four. And this next one was written by Alex McMillian. It is called Tangled Up in Q. Here's how it works. In Once This They Game, are you split? Will each need question to is untangle worth two 10 questions points. I'll go through that again. In this Anyone game, else smelling burning hair? <laughs> In this game, you will need to untangle two questions. Once they are split, each question is worth 10 points. Oof. So in that gibberish that I said before, those two phrases were... Were tangled, mm-hmm. one could say. Yeah, if you find that you're not making progress, oh. we can untangle the questions for you. But then each answer is worth only five points. Each phrase is going to have two questions in it. Euro how. No boy. Which how country many won points with did only Gemini teardrops receive? <laughs> Okay, which country won with with only teardrops? With, uh, okay, that's and how many points did Gemini receive? I don't know what Gemini is. Neither do, do I know I. what Gemini is? Which means I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe it's, it's zero. Maybe that's I was going to say it's either know. zero or one. So yeah, you know, okay. they wouldn't be like, ah, yes, this is the, with the only entry teardrops. from a couple of years ago that got seventy-seven points. Okay, uh, so I, I guess we'll say um, yeah, go with uh, zero. Uh, yes, yeah, no, zero. I, I, I think so. Yeah, go with one. Yeah, zero. No, no, zero, zero. Screw whatever this song. Yeah, is. screw them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so Denmark and zero is what we're going to say. Yes, the country that won with only teardrops was Denmark, and Gemini did receive zero w- points. What was Gemini? Yes. <laughs> Refresh me. Uh, Ge- Cry baby from two thousand three. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's before my time. Probably heard it only once. You're not missing much. No, you're I was going to say, it sounds like as, that's what the audience wanted too. As somebody who just waited through all of the UK's entries from the two thousands. Recently, you're not missing much. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm still in love with you. Oh. Hmm. Oh. All right. Stan Marino. Who drip hosted drop alongside came Petra? Fifth mead for in which 2016 country? Okay, so Monsta Love and this is Monster Petra mm-hmm. in 2016. Okay, so drip drop came fifth in uh, 2016. Oh, drip, drop, drop. Oh, for which country? Um, in twenty six or that's not twenty sixteen. Um, drip, drop. Oh God, I'm also in. Mm. No, I'm thinking TikTok from Ukraine. Um, drip, drop. <laughs> I was thinking Croatia. <laughs> Just drip, drop, take you dancing. <laughs> oh God, don't slip. Um, God, I don't think I know drip, drop in which country. For which country? Um, I mean, we might as well guess. Uh, no. no, it sounds like it would be like a like a Romania or something, right? But wasn't that? It's not 2016. 2016 was Petromania. Oh, okay. Um, 
I think it's just it's honestly something like Romania or like the UK. <laughs> Okay, I say we try. Well, the UK is so terrible. It sounds pretty UK. Yeah. Okay, fine. Mom's gonna live in uh, UK. Who hosted alongside Petra Mead in 2016? That was Mons. And Drip Chop came fifth for which country? That was Azerbaijan in 2010. Uh, mm-hmm. Never. But you still get ten right. points. Okay. <laughs> Postcard Invaders. Which which year duo had sang the both slogan "Lipstick Building" and "Bridges Waterline"? Okay, so Edward. which year? Yeah, so it's Jedward. So which year yeah. had the slogan "Building Bridges"? Building Bridges so that was that was 2015. Yeah, that so Jedward fun. 2015. Yeah, that was your first, wasn't it? That was. I'm going to oh. vote Jedward 2015. I think we're yeah, all me. voting Jedward 2015. <laughs> <laughs> if we could go back in political time, but yes, the year that had the slogan "Building Bridges" was 2015, and the duo that sang "Lipstick and Waterline" were Jedward. It was "Building Bridges"? Was that Baku? That was Austria. It was, it was Austria. Austria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a watch group that does only connect on a one week off basis. And I ran the table on the disemboweled round. That was just that, slogans. That was so good. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure was Alex's fault. So yep. thank you, Alex. <laughs> okay, Euro How. What who is saying do's boom points bang plus a 10 bang? What, what is do's points plus 10? Surely 22. Uh, yeah. I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, that. And then boom, bang, a bang. That's Lulu. Yes. So do, do, okay. What is deux point plus 10? Plus 10. That's, that's two separate languages. It's 22. It's 22 points. 22 points. Yeah. Uh, or that's 22. the answer. It's 22 Lulu. No, 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 no. It's, 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 what? It's, they're different. So it's, it's 22. Oh, so it's 22. Yeah. 22 yeah. Lulu. That's the answer. All right. Uh, t- 22 in the, your language of choice and Lulu. Yes. And I think you talked it out completely, but yes. Uh, 22 <laughs> and Lulu. So. 20 duh. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 20 duh. Yes. <laughs> All right. Stan Marino. Which which Eurovision country host only sang competed Grace in Kelly 1980? Which Eurovision country sang Grace? No, Kelly. which Eurovision host sang Grace Kelly, Mika? Which country only competed in 1980? Morocco. Mika and Morocco. Yes. Well done. Mika Rocco. Mika <laughs> Rocco. Yeah, Mika Rocco. <laughs> All right, postcard invaders. Which what band song came did second Valentina to Moneta Conchita qualify worst with? <laughs> I'm sorry, just... was second that year. Yeah, yeah. So which which band came second to Conchita first? Conchita first. Okay. Yes, yeah, so Tom and Lynette's. Did Valentina Manetta qualify with? Uh, that'd be um, maybe, wasn't it? Maybe, yeah. She was in the uh, Venus clamshell. Yeah, with the heart of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, because it was her third song. Mm. And yeah, so it, it would have been maybe or for say, depending on which language you want to do it in, and uh, come Lynette's. That is correct. Yeah. Bene. Fantastico. Molto bene. No robe mi canto. All right, and that is the end of that round. I'm going to do some score tallying. Ben, did you have anything you wanted to throw in while I do the math? Since it would not work for the audio medium that is podcasting, I have canceled our interval act of interpretive dance. What? <laughs> yes, but from who? Because did we get the people from like Serial to come here and do a like unknown interpretive dance? Not as, like, just like as an interval act while we tabulate the votes, there will now be a murder podcast. Yes. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gotten another podcast. It's just the uh, it's just the McElroy brothers doing an interpretive it's, dance. It's Griffin McElroy, and he's here yeah. to talk about what Eurovision means to him. So would a Eurovision true crime podcast be like, okay, who is actually robbed every year? Yeah. yeah, dance along. What did Azerbaijan do last year? This week on Serial, Spain gave its 12 points to Azerbaijan this year. Why? <laughs> <laughs> How could they do this? Don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, we have the final results. And with 120 points, the least serene Republic of Stan Marino. Woo! In second place with 130 points, Eurohow. Yeah! yeah. All right. Which means that our winners of the inaugural American Euro quiz, the Bulgarian postcard invaders with 145 points. Well done. Yeah, nice job. Good job. 
great time. All right. Thank you, everybody, for playing. Uh, this that was a delight. Putting this together. This is this yeah. Is a blast. This was this was delightful. We should. Uh, I was hoping to redeem myself after embarrassing myself in front of an entire theater of few people in the last time I did Eurovision trivia, but alas. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> We you should, should have done uh, something yeah. really uh, terrible, like uh, I don't know what's the Eurovision equivalent of Blobby coming out, <laughs> Mr. Blobby, <laughs> Justin the Turkey. You know this. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> the campaign for the UK to send Mr. Blobby in 2023 begins here. That's going to do it for this episode of the Eurowatch. <laughs> Thanks for listening. The Eurowatch podcast is hosted by Ben Smith. That's me and Mike McComb. That's me. Special thanks again to Chris King, Alex McMillan, and Dave Steves, who helped with playtesting. Also, huge thanks to our guests, 12 Points from America and Star Spangled Eurovision. Thank you for joining us in this Tom Foolery. Thanks for having us. Thank Yay! you so much. Thanks this so was fantastic. fantastic. Show notes are in the description of this episode and on our website at Eurowatch.com. You can also find links to our socials, email, and Patreon while you're there. Next time on the Euro- or what? We'll jump into 2023 with results from Ukraine, Albania, and the ESC Top 250.